You ready for this, Ricky? I'm ready for this. Is your body ready? My body is ready. This I... is Mega Man X4. So, I picked Super Mario World because that was the game I knew from the back of my hand. And this one, you say, is the game that, do, that I do for Super Mario World. So you do for Mega Man X4 what I do for Super yes, Mario World. I know this game pretty much inside and out. And just so the fans know, I'm going to be starting us off. I'm going to be playing as Zero, and Johnny's going to be playing as X. Yeah, I, j just so you know, don't get your hopes up with me. I'm not nearly as good at Mega Man as Ricky is, so he's going to do exponentially better than me. <laughs> Well, don't count your chickens before they hatch now. But, uh, I've been actually practicing this for quite a while because Zero's boss order is really weird. So I've been trying to get the boss order down, and I think I got a good order that'll actually let me not only get all the powers pretty easily, but also 100% all the items. Get all the E-tanks and all the heart containers. Well, it's funny you mention that. With, like, Zero, I didn't 100% the game, so I didn't have all the heart containers and everything. But at least with, like, Zero, you are given a little more flexibility because not all of his power-ups are strong against everything. Yeah, and also, I think, yeah, only the one power-up uses actual energy. Everything yeah, else yeah, is the, built in. The one yeah. you get from uh, Cyber Peacock. <sighs> da -da -da! <laughs> X4. All right, we're gonna start this party. All right, and the opening stage is actually gonna be fun for me, so I like this opening stage. Yeah, I lot. actually prefer this opening stage over the one in X1. Yeah. Just because like it's much shorter and it's more concise in my opinion. Yeah, and also, did you know that you can actually uh, kill the boss early? I think I did know that, but I've never done it. Yeah, it's. It doesn't really have any benefit, you still have to fight the boss later, but it just makes the first part a little bit easier if you spend time to do it. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna do it, cause, you know... It, it's just <laughs> not worth the energy, yeah. and you can get by it much faster. Yeah. So, storyline here is Zero discovers he is made by the evil Dr. Willy. Or I thought it was Wily. Yeah, it is Wily, I just like saying Willy. <laughs> cause Willy's more fun. <laughs> I have to say, this is definitely like the first Mega Man game where things got much darker. Yeah. I mean, everything got more intense with the X series. It was aimed more toward the uh, intense players. Well, that's because yeah. like the, the audience was getting older and Capcom kind of knew that they had to grow with the audience, which thankfully is something Pokemon yeah. is starting to do too. Alright, I'm just gonna skip through the dialogue, but I'm not gonna skip cutscenes, because the dialogue is silly. <laughs> like, the anime looks cool and all, despite the terrible voice acting. One of the things I prefer about playing Zero in general is because, like, you know me, like, I prefer games like Castlevania and Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, things like Mega Man's, or I should say... X's X Buster, Mega Man can't charge his Dang his it. beam, but uh, I don't like the fact that you have to hold down to keep charging all the time. It kind of hurts my thumb. Like, I'd rather mash the button with zero. Yeah. But, uh, I don't, the range advantage on X is just way too great. You think? Yeah, I think so. Alright, so pretty much I'm gonna sum up this dialogue. Dragoon is a traitor, and I have to kill him later. Spoilers. <laughs> and I'm pretty confident I can beat him first, considering he's the hardest of the eight main bosses yeah. in the game. I'm gonna be beating him fourth this playthrough. Okay, because last time I saw you play this game, you, uh, you beat him last, because you even explicitly told me before I played this game that he's, uh probably the hardest boss yeah, in the game. Yeah, They They're, actually, uh, Not, like, in the whole game, but, like, uh, the eight main bosses. Yeah. They actually give you a pretty serious handicap, uh, when you go to fight him. Yeah, because of the mech. Yeah, the mech. But it's a one-shot deal, so Yeah, so... You have to do it right the first time. I think one of the reasons why I picked this game as my first is because I saw you play it, and, uh... It, it's definitely easier than X1. Yeah. That's like the first one of the X games I played. And, uh... 
Like, I still haven't finished X1. Like, I got to the final boss. That's all I got up to. Yeah, that's what I was at for a lot of the X games for a while. It took me a while to beat every single uh, X game. And I, I don't really know them too well, except for this one. Yeah, because this is the first one you played. Yeah. And we're already on the boss, by the way. Yeah, this guy's pretty easy. Whoop. Yeah, something I learned about this Mega Man game that will probably help me in Mega Man games just to come is that... When you hit a boss, they get, like, two seconds of invincibility. Like, yeah. that is BS. <laughs> like, I remember, uh... Like, it, that's supposed to be the way for the player, though. Like, in Mega Man games, you can die, like, instantly if you're not careful. Uh, actually, I, I said something like... I mentioned Castlevania Circle the Moon in our last Let's Play. And, uh, believe it or not, there's an ability you can get in Castlevania Circle the Moon that extends your, uh brief invincibility you get after being hit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I wish that they had that in a lot of the other games. Mega Man could really use it. Yeah. <laughs> considering some of the bosses, even in this game, take an absurd amount of hits to kill. Even the Colonel, the guy yeah. that just appeared. Not this guy, but the guy that appeared in actual gameplay, not this footage. Yeah. Well, uh, actually, speaking of the Colonel, an advantage to playing Zero is that you only have to fight the Colonel once. No, I could have swore you had to fight him twice. No, in Zero's uh, storyline, it's a cutscene. It's uh, not an actual fight. I could have swore you had to fight him twice. Uh, that's for uh, X. Oh, uh, okay. There he is. Yeah. He is also Iris's I the bit that Iris's brother. <laughs> yeah. But even though this Mega Man game kind of upped the ante with story. You don't play a Mega Man game for story. Yeah, seriously. That's just a fact. <laughs> you play a Mega Man game so you can fight the bosses, get cool powers, and keep going. And have bragging rights because most people, including myself, can't beat most Mega Man games. Yeah. What would you say is the hardest Mega Man game? Like, of the standard platforming ones, including the X games mm. and the original series. Including X and original? Basically those two series, yeah. because they're the platforming series in general. Um, that's actually a tough question. My initial response is Mega Man 3, and the reason for that is because it has two weakness wheels, so to speak. Like, there's five bosses that kind of circle around, and then there's three bosses so, that circle so around. So they're... So they're two separate weakness wheels, but they're not related to each yeah. other is what you're saying, and that that's what makes it harder. Yeah. Okay, so the first person I'm going to fight is Jet Stingray. Oh, this guy's such a pansy. Yeah. Like, he's just a pansy in general. His level is harder than himself. Like, <laughs> yeah. he's... And, and all he does is run away and send out minions. He is such a pansy. Yeah, well, this is actually the easiest level. Well, he's, I think. he's even easier with Zero, but like yeah. with X, he's a joke when you get Frost Walrus's ability. Yeah, but you kind of need the Frost Walrus ability to beat him as X. I, at yeah, least because I feel. It's really, unless if you have like the jumping, the hover boots to hit him in the air, uh, like it's really hard to hit him with X because he's suspended in the air and. And Zero has a hitbox above him with a sword that makes that easier. Yeah. By the way, I have a hard time getting that heart container. It's, uh, with Mega Man X4, this is gonna sound weird, but Mega Man X4 follows a rule of three. It's a lot of, in a lot of situations, it's gonna be the third thing you find that gives you the heart container or is the right passage and etc. etc. Really? Yeah. Oh, you did that quick. Yeah. And, th and thankfully you get healed after that. Yeah. Because you take so much damage doing this. Yeah, just in case anyone missed it, I did grab the heart container there for this level. There's one in every level, and I just killed Jet Stingray. I didn't know you could do that. How'd you do that? It's you just dash into him. And Wait, how do you dash? Him. You just press yeah, the... Yeah, it's just circle. Just the regular dash button? Yeah. I didn't know you could dash in this thing. But, uh... Do you have to hit him more than once? No, with the dash, you just have to hit him once. And he's gone. Alright, but right now I can't dash into him because he's behind me. See, I told you, he's yeah. a pansy! Screw you, Jet Stingray. I'm gonna take a few hits. Ah, oh, I screwed up. Ricky, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> See, the E-tank's up there. 
So I, I uh, can't leave this level without the E-Tank. I didn't know there was an E-Tank up there. Yeah, so this is why I started with this one first. There's a heart container and an E-Tank that are both easily accessible. Assuming you can get them, that Yeah, is. assuming that you don't screw up like I did. <laughs> and you're not supposed to screw up, Ricky. I yeah, thought you were good at Mega I'm Man sorry. games. I'm <laughs> sorry. Here he comes. Right, uh, uh, jump, like, jump, those are jump, seriously jump. hard to dodge. Yeah. And then they come back at you if you don't kill them, which is even more annoying. And I think I, yep, I screwed up again. I just move uh, on. Wait, no. I, I need the E-Tank. You sh you <laughs> you sh usually you don't need more than one of them, at least. Yeah, it's I need the E-Tank for Dragoon, and I need the E-Tank for Colonel. In general, if I'm... I didn't pick up any of the E-Tanks when I played this game. So, Ricky, this is coming from someone who's not <laughs> particularly good at Mega Man games. I beat this game without E-Tanks. Yeah. But it's just, it's nice to have that backup plan. I mean, I can beat it without the E-Tanks, but screw that. <laughs> so there should be a jump ahead or something? Yeah, it's uh, this guy. All right, and then I dash properly. Oh, that's how you and get I get it. the E-Tank. And now... Thank God they give you health at the end of this yeah, level. Yeah, seriously. Right before the boss, too. It's really nice. And now this guy's a joke. Yeah, he is. Like... Even more so with Frost Walrus's ability. Yeah. But that is for X, like I said. Mm-hmm. And also his power for zero isn't very good, but it's situational. What does he useful. give you? Double jump? He gives you air dash. Oh, actually air dash is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good, but But a I lot of times you don't need it. Like, if the thing is that you can already air dash if you're on a wall, like I know that's technically not an air dash, but, yeah. but still. Oh, Jet Stingray. <laughs> yeah, once you get his pattern down, he's real easy. Yeah, even when he uh, goes into his so... Yeah, like, you could... St that's what I realized yeah, about... Yeah, <laughs> you could stand behind him. Yeah, Magma Dragoon, you can do the same thing when he does his fire breath thingy, and you can't stand on the main platform. Yeah. All right, now the only difference between the blue and the pink uh, stingrays that he summons here is that the pink ones will drop down if you're uh, below him. Uh huh. Or if you're below and in front of him, I should say. I was behind him, so they didn't drop down. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was good. Yeah. All right, and first power already. We're making good progress. I only died twice so far. <laughs> Well, the, uh, the second time concern. was was uh, purposely. Ah, uh, the first time was as well. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Oh well. All right. He and Kyaku. He and Kyaku. I can pronounce yeah. Japanese words. Yeah. Okay. So that's Odash. 